the, the reason why they are doing this registration in the district offices, the real reason, real reason people have to understand is that they don't want too many people to get on the register now because next year they are going to come out with a CI that will require only the Ghana card for registration. And the basis of what you're saying is coming from where? But even, I, I even heard Dr. Bosman, uh, sorry, he didn't put it this way directly. Yeah. But he said that because they do not believe in the guarantee system, is, is, is putting people who are not qualified on the register. On the road, and yeah. that is why they've decided to do it at the district office so that they can control that situation. And then he talks about, they said they, they are working on a CI. Mm -hmm. CI that will make the Ghana card. That's what he said. I heard mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But you see, the, the, the signal is very clear. You would recall that, or many people will recall that, they attempted to, to pass this CI in parliament mm -hmm. last year. They went to parliament with the CI mm -hmm. and said that, Look, the, it requires, you, you need to have a Ghana card. There will be no guarantee system. You need to have a Ghana card before mm. you can get on the register. We don't know what the EC is going mm. to do next year. We don't know whether they're going to say that. We don't know whether they are going to discard the voter register we have currently mm. and do a complete new registration asking for only the Ghana card. And we know how the Ghana cards have been issued. Mm. Or we don't know whether they are only going to say that, oh, we shall only do another limited registration and you need only the Ghana card. But when they went to parliament with the CI, the minority, what happened at that time was that it was a time that we were just enrolling on the IMF program. Mm -hmm. And then the IMF needed parliament to pass some taxes. Mm. You see, so minority says that, look, if we allow this CI to go through, we will not help you to pass those taxes. You see, what should have happened, we didn't happen, which I have a little problem with our side in parliament was that. You see, when the CI is laid in parliament, it is not something that will be debated at all. For 21 days, even if it's not rejected, mm -hmm. it has become a law. Mm -hmm. And the only way it can be rejected is to have two-thirds of parliament to vote on it. When you vote on it and it's rejected, the EC cannot bring the same CI back. Yeah. So what should have happened when majority, if they were really, really serious that they were going to get the minority to help them pass the, uh, uh, the taxes, what they should have done is that we'll allow the EC to lay the, the CI. CI. We'll all help you vote and reject it so they cannot come with it again. And then you help us. But what they did was that they told uh, EC that, oh, just withdraw it go and reconsider it and bring it back. Okay. And then when they said so, then the minority helped them to pass the taxes. The EC now went back after yeah. the taxes were passed. The EC yeah. now went back. So yeah. parliament yeah. cannot dictate to yeah. us. Yeah. It's only advice. We won't take the advice. So they are preparing to bring that same CI yeah. back yeah. next year. Wow. And when they bring it back next year, majority is not going to cooperate anymore with us because it will favor it's them. What they want because we know how they have issued the Ghana card. So it is because they know that and they know that it may not be possible for them to discard the voter register mm. right now. So they may only have to do limited registration next year. They will do it next year. And I believe they will do it either in all the polling stations hmm. or the electoral areas. But at that time, it will be only based on the Ghana card. So, so what if you don't have the Ghana card, you can't register. Nobody what? will guarantee for you.